Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a weekly reading for Aquarius from the 10th to the 16th of September 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising signs if these uh, messages uh, for a more complete view of what's going on. Um, if you want a personal reading, I've put the details of my um, website and my email address in the description box, so please contact me. I've put the decks I'm using down in the description box as well, and I've put links to eBay and Amazon if you want to purchase them. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave me uh, a comment or message if this resonates with you. So I'm going to do the general um, energy read, and then I will do the general tarot read after that. So the first card you've got uh, astonishment um, so you might be in a position where you're um, you need to actually have uh, a little bit of training uh, or you may might be going to um, some sort of education or training uh, because you're inexperienced in that particular job so you're you know these people are all towing the line you are feeling a bit left out because you don't have the skills necessary to be able to do this particular piece of work so it's a card of astonishment because everything is surprising you and it's all brand new to you maybe you've started a new job um, so you're in a situation where you're going to need to be trained so it's a, a card showing that you're feeling very inexperienced at this particular moment you've been really flying by the seat of your pants right now just taking a chance in whatever you're doing so you know it's not something that is grounded in um it's not a very grounded way of doing things and it's not based on um uh you know good education if you like so what needs to be done is um, instead of just taking a chance and risking it every time uh, because of your inexperience and and it's causing a lot of uh, problems you're very very anxious uh, whatever your work you're doing is making you very very anxious um, because you're not you haven't been trained properly in it so um, instead of you know taking just chances because this is showing like you know very reckless kind of behavior with the flying card just just taking a chance and jumping in without even considering what the problem what the uh, situation is and this card of astonishment is sh saying that you know because you're not you don't have the experience every time something happens you know you're quite surprised that even happened and you know maybe people are having a go at you and that is causing a lot of anxiety with you also because you're not in charge of the situation that in itself is causing a lot of frustration and anxiety that seems to be the energy around you right now so in the past you've got uh, you know you have been doing some studying with the reading card uh, so you were involved in some, some some sort of studies maybe this is a new job and you know you don't have the experience as opposed to not having the knowledge so m this is showing that you've ha you know you've been doing studying a lot of studying actually a lot of new ideas coming in for you uh, to bring in this abundance uh, you've been spending a lot of time with this work as well and you've had a lot of you know good ideas good thoughts you, you're quite smart at it and you know you know how to bring in your abundance how to bring in your work um, you know the money um, but the inexperience might be the thing that is causing this problem where you are not uh, being able to slot in or, or find, get yourself comfortable within that job so uh, it looks like uh, you know you need to acquire more skills with the hand um, and it looks like uh, you know this card of um, the rain says um, you know you will get abundance coming in with the rain card uh, this is also a card of like you know defend yourself protect yourself from any anybody giving you any grief but with the rain card it looks like if you get more skills then that is how you will attract your abundance to you so you will have to go and try and um, get more skills as opposed to you know this is just book work book knowledge it seems uh, you know you might have just qualified from a course or university or something like that and now you need the skills to actually be able to handle this job so that you're not feeling so um, you know left out um, um, or uh, you're not feeling so anxious within it in the job and you're not taking um, risks you know that are just not going to work out because this man seems to be you know really flying here and it, it, there's steep cliffs so you know you could end up um, 
taking a risk and it might not pay off or it might end up getting you into big trouble. So you do need to acquire some skills with the, the hand and if you acquire skills, you will be able to find your direction and there will be a lot of abundance coming for you and there will be support coming for you from this. So uh, a need to actually be, um, um, you know, to um, go in and um, reskill yourself or skill get skills. So being able to do the things practically. So being able to take the bookwork and put it into practical um, application, to find a practical application for it, it seems to be the way that you need to go. Um, and then the things will start moving for you. So that is how you need to do it. And this is coming in, the energy is coming in for that week. So there might be some decision that you make. Uh, where you do get um, skills training, some sort of skill training within that job. So I'm just going to cut this deck. Oops. Okay, so the, the main energies of the cards, um, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. So whatever job you're doing, uh, you know, you probably have just started it. And it's going to be something that is going to be, um, you know, you've got to plod along and do it. It might seem a bit tedious for you, but it's going to be something that brings in stable income for you. Because you're going to be able to accumulate money as well you can see there's bags of money on, on the back of this horse this is the knight of pentacles and it's a very very slow moving knight you can see even this horse looks really big and sluggish and it moves very slowly it looks more like a donkey actually it is i think a donkey uh so r rather than a, a fast moving uh, steed it is a slow moving uh, beast <laughs> and it will um it means that you will have to work really hard Sorry to say that, but you're going to have to work really hard to overcome whatever obstacles you are. You see this mountain in the back with a lot of clouds in it. And there is abundance around you. It might not be a lot, because if you can see, there's only a patch of ground underneath this horse and nothing else around. So, you know, it's not a job that pays particularly well. Uh, it's not a job that is bringing extreme abundance, but it is enough for you to live on. And it's enough for you to be able to put some money aside. And there you are. Um, this cat is looking to the future. So the idea is with the this uh, knight of um, coins, pentacles, you need to look forward, look to future opportunities as well to be able to get um, out of this um, situation. So this might be just a starter job that you're doing or just something in the interim while you find that perfect job that you're looking for. And it takes a lot of hard work, but you're going to have enough uh, money uh, just to be able to you know, live comfortably enough and put aside some of it. So make sure that you're saving as well and know that you'll have to look for future something in the future in order for you to produce more money or get a better job. So keep an eye out for future opportunities and f future job options. So that's what that card is advising. So uh, the main situation is you've got the Ten of Swords, um, the Ten of Rods, and you, it's crossed by the Three of uh, Pentacles. So this is, looks like a very much uh, of a work spread. Um, so you've got a lot of responsibilities and burdens. Um, and, you know, maybe that is now with this new job that you've gotten because the tens usually are an end of a cycle, um, that all these burdens and responsibilities are now um, going to come to an end. It looks like this man has found a cave full of diamonds. So this job might be, um, it might be the beginning to success. So you might have, uh, be ending all the hardship that you've gone through. And this job that's coming now is going to be the start of something better because all that responsibilities fall away and now you found this hidden cave with all these diamonds in it. So this job might be something that allows you to move forward. So there is a lot of potential within this job. So you need to stick with it, even though it seems like it's going to be very, uh, you have to work pretty hard in this job. And you can see here with this three of pentacles, this cat is working really hard. You know, he's carving something out of stone. So you're gonna have to put a lot of energy and effort to this job, but, it's going to have a lot of rewards at the end of the day because you will 
be able to progress um, with it. It's going to produce, you can see diamonds here. So whatever work you're doing is going to be very, very uh, productive for you. So stick with it, even though it's something that is so, you know, you have to work very, very hard to do it, to accumulate what little money you have. Also, it's just a job that you're going to acquire a lot of skills with, and you're going to become an expert at it, because this is what this particular cat is doing. It's becoming a skilled carver. So that is what will happen. If you stick with the job that you have, even though you have to work hard, it might involve physical work as well, you will become an expert at it and you will be able to make a lot of money eventually with this job. So um, the past um, year, you know, you have been feeling very trapped, very restricted. Uh, you know, you felt um, very hemmed in. You've been doing a lot of self-reflection as well, feeling very, very lonely with this cards. And, you know, everybody seems to have been against you with these swords facing upright it's the nine of swords uh, not a very very nice card in the deck because it talks about of a lot of restriction and anxiety and it looks like you have had a lot of restriction coming on you know it seems like you've been hitting brick walls right through with the with these uh, trees having no no leaves on it it seems like no money has even been coming in so there was a very uh, distinct lack of abundance lack of money coming in and with all these swords pointing upright it seems like you've had a lot of obstacles and a lot of people have been very negative towards you uh, with you trying to um, you know trying to break free from this but can't you're not able to, to find a way out. There is a way out, but you know it, it involves a very difficult path out. And so you have been spending a lot of time alone and doing a lot of self-reflection as well. So coming out of a situation of you know really no abundance there, a very difficult time. So uh, in the last um, two months or so, you've got um, this Two of Cups coming in. And uh, it seems like, you know, there are things that are coming in. There is uh, new messages of hope coming in. And it looks like it's some sort of divine kind of thing because it is coming in from the clouds. You've got this cat shooting in arrows from the clouds. There might have been a new relationship that has come in because you can see there, there are lots of pairs of cats over here. It could have been a new friendship. It could be something that you really love. But it seems to have been some sort of divine message that, you know, really jolted you. So something new has come in. It has been something... Like I said, it could have been a new relationship. And it's brought a lot of happiness to, to you. Um, and it's, you know, trying to bring some clarity as well into your life. So something new coming in. Uh, a new partnership, maybe, that has come in uh, in the last uh, couple of months. So um, what's been on your mind? You've been thinking a lot about the past. You can see there's this bubble. You might have had a really good, stable life. Uh, but something went wrong there. You can see the cups are all fallen down. Um... There might have been, you know, where you've had a loss from, uh, you've lost your home or you've had a breakup from somebody where you had a happy home with them, you had a kind of good family life and now you don't have that anymore and you've been thinking a lot about the past with these pictures, you know, considering remembering a lot about the past and what happened and, um, you know, um, maybe how you moved in or how your disappointments your loves, you've been thinking a lot about it, but don't dwell on it. This is a card where you need to put that past behind you. You can see this cat is sitting with a um, the thought behind them. So it's something that you need to move on and don't dwell in it. You've got to look forward. Even though this cup is empty, you've got to find a way of filling this cup because it is a way that you can move forward. But this has been on your mind with the Six of Cups. So going into the future, you're trying to find some sort of balance. There might be some sort of legal issues coming up. There might be some sort of contract that you will be signing soon. Watch out uh, for pitfalls in it because you've got sharks swimming around this um, tower over here kind of thing. Um, and it seems like, you know, you make sure that you watch your back because not everybody's for you. Make sure you don't get yourself into problems. Make sure you're le reading all the little, little, tiny little uh, details or fine print um, and, you know, uh, trying to find that, that balance. So if there's a legal issue coming in, make sure that you have, are very honest. There's no deceit. Make sure you're presenting every single fact quite clearly uh, and that you're reading every single fine print. So something legal coming in um, for you. So you yourself, um, we've got uh, the, the Knight of... Um, Swords. No, sorry. This is the Queen of Swords. <laughs> this is the Queen of Swords, and um, you can see that you know she's working really, really hard, uh, trying to sharpen these blades. 
So you are trying, you are working very hard at your skills, and you're very working very, very hard at trying to communicate your ideas to people, it seems. So you're making sure that your message gets uh, put across to people, and you know you're sharpening your blade, so you're, you're making sure you've got your speech prepared and you've got your things prepared so that you can present your uh, message to the world. And also, it's putting out a message that you know, you're somebody that can't be um, messed with, uh, that you mean business. Uh, and you're willing to work really hard, uh, you know. And it also shows that it's a very good. You're a very good communicator as well, because you you're sharpening these swords. So the words you want them to go and hit the right spot. You want them to make sure you want your message to get across with this uh, Queen of Swords. And uh, you know you're not somebody that's going to be messed with. So that is the message that you are putting out to the world. And uh, what's coming in for you? You've got the Ace of Coins. So a new. Uh, enterprise coming in, something brand new coming in, uh, and it's very, very emotionally fulfilling because you've got the dolphins. It involves a lot of brain work with these dolphins as well, and there's a lot of emotional fulfillment, I said. Um, but also, it's a new financial venture, so something that is going to allow you to accumulate a lot of wealth because you can see there's a lot of the deck has got a lot of coins, bags of coins on it. So something that's going to allow you to accumulate a lot of um, money coming in for you, a new job, um, a new situation coming in. So this, this is what, how the world is seeing it. So this particular job, it seems um, that if you set, carry on in this new job, this one that you've just started, it seems, that your ship will come in because it is a new job and people see that there's a lot of potential for you to earn a lot of money in it. There's something new that they think that you're pretty smart um, and that you will be able to earn uh, quite a lot of money. So there's a lot of scope, a lot of potential for you to reach the top and to become an expert and to earn a lot of money. Um, but it's also showing that you've got to uh, follow your intuition, follow the breeze because this is a ship and follow your nose if you like or your gut instinct and make sure you're using your intelligence when you're making decisions. Don't be very emotional about it. Make sure that you're thinking very logically. So there is a potential in this job, which I think is a new job for you to make a lot of money and to reach, accumulate a lot of wealth because you can see this person is putting aside a lot of money. So it will bring in a lot of wealth eventually. So you are thinking about, see this person's got this, um, you, you're you thinking about making things grow in your life. So whatever time and effort you're investing in this job, you're hoping that it grows, you're watching it very carefully. So you're putting a lot of time and effort and you're, you're treating it very carefully. You're being very, very, very uh, careful uh, about how you handle the situation, how you do things, and you're waiting for that abundance to come in. There's even spider webs growing on this uh, around this plant, so you are nurturing this particular job. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you're waiting for this abundance to come in. So it's just sitting and waiting at the moment and hoping for the best. Um, so going into the future, you've got, or the final outcome cards, you've got the Sun, you've got the Four of Swords, and you've got the Ten of Swords as well. So the sun card is showing that, you know, this is the right time to be doing things. There's a lot of clarity that comes in and, you know, you need to also relax a little bit. Um, <coughs> there's a lot of energy. You might be meeting somebody as well. Um, but there's a lot of, um, there's something divine that's guiding all of this. So it's giving you the energy and you're having a lot of fun with this job as well. So you're enjoying what you're doing um, in your work and in your life. And, uh, you, you know, you, you're, you're not so stressed out um, as maybe you were um, a few months ago. So that card has changed from the 9 um, into the Sun card, and it looks like, you know, the 9 into the 19. That's pretty good. So it looks like, you know, you are progressing and you will end up enjoying what you have. This is the time for you to take action. So the Sun card usually talks about making sure that you're putting your energies and you are being active, not sitting back and waiting for things. So if you're too stressed out, uh, with this uh, Four of Swords, it might be a, be a bit of a time to take a break. You don't want to get any stress illnesses. This person's got a broken leg, um, and, you know, with this Four of Swords, it is a time when, you know, if you're stressed out or too anxious, you can end up getting ill. So make sure that you are having a little bit of a break. You know, you might need a little bit of a holiday as well if you're working too hard. And the last card is the Ten of Swords, which says, you know, um, it's time for you to move away from that past uh, way of thinking and know that you're going through a new door now and something new is um, 
you know is at play at now you're in a new cycle leave the old cycle away it says exit so whatever that old cycle of uh, lack that you had in those thoughts of lack you can see the ground around it's got nothing in it you need to stop um, thinking like that you have to stop thinking small but start thinking big and you know you've got the seven of uh, coins here and that's what you should be doing you should be walking towards abundance with all the green away from this dry uh, derelict thoughts that you had and stop thinking about all the nasty things that happened to you in the past with these swords and start moving away from it so whatever has been keeping you back whatever this was that kept you so imprisoned with the nine of swords and the ten of swords there is that way out you there is an exit um, to that situation and it is all coming through this job um, so don't overstress about the job too much try to have some fun in it make sure everything in your life is balanced you've got legal contracts and documentation to, si uh, to sign make sure that you're reading all of fine print and watch your back really because there are sharks in the water there so you know you don't want anybody to be taking advantage of you but all in all the job that you're going to you've just started now it looks like it's going to bring you eventually a lot of success a lot of success and a lot of money coming in with that job so be aware of that so i'm just going to draw three cards from the Archangel Tarot and that's just for um, advice really okay so you've got two earth cards over here you've got the six of Raphael which says embrace your inner child new friends or rekindled relationships childhood so there is something that you have been thinking about the past with the six of Raphael and I think you need to let that go uh, because this is showing that you know you have been thinking a lot of the past and all these thoughts you know, they're like daggers in your back, really, all these thoughts. And you need to find a way out of thinking like that. And they are causing some stress illness over here. You are being very stressed out about it. So, you know, you're, it's, it's grinding you to a halt. So you need to get out, thinking, out of thinking like that. So um, the Ras Raphael says, you know, embrace your inner child and you will be making new friends as well. And the Nine of Raphael says, make a wish, dreams become a reality, a joyful time in life. So these are all uh, Pentacles cards. So it looks like, you know, it, you, whatever you wish for, whatever you want is going to manifest itself. You've got the genie in the lamp over here. So whatever you want, and it looks like there's a very faithful person next to you, somebody who will be very supportive of you, and you're being offered a chance to make a wish and make your dreams come true by the universe. And the last card is the Queen of Area, which says, Nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practiced and wise advice so somebody around you giving you some sort of advice and make sure that you're looking after yourself as well um, because you know if you don't take care of yourself if you don't take a bit of a break you will end up being ill so with the four of swords you need to take a break and with the sun you need to lighten up your mood a little bit so bring some fun and, and laughter into your life a little bit um, you know take a little bit of a holiday if you need to take a little bit of a holiday and get out of that feeling of uh, lack and this card with the ten of swords says that old situation is finished now you need to move on there is an exit this new this new job or this job that you've started is going to be an exit from that uh, feeling that you were going through and even though if it is such a hard uh, a job that you know, you're going to work hard at but eventually there is a great payoff with this ace of pentacles coming in and it says, um, you know, there is some wise advice. So some, there are people there that are going to be able to give you advice and support you. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.